repainting the interior of this Fleetline Sapphire. Uh, this is the original paint, it's looking pretty worse for wear. I'm planning on carpeting the bottom, but before I do I also want to just clean up the sides. So as you can see, it's got the speckled effect on it. There's a bit of elements of like dripping from old rusted things that have been replaced. So there's an opportunity to get this looking much cleaner and fresher. So having done my research, uh, in New Zealand this is the best option. Uh, starting off with a moss and mold killer that I've already used. I uh, did that by 50-50 mixing it with a power washer, doing the interior of the boat, the whole thing, and scrubbing it and then what, rinsing it all out. So this is now mold free. Next thing to use after that is going to be this waterborne primer, uh, followed up by uh, semi-gloss waterborne enamel. Um, I went with the triple concrete, uh, which is basically the colour, you can't quite see it, but basically the colour of the canopy. So that should match. And you can see I've done a couple of tests inside already and adjusted the colour since that to be slightly lighter. So I'm going to mask the vinyl the, um, the rubber surrounds of the, the perspex, clear away the, uh, the dash area and start by painting this area up the top. It's been reasonably tricky masking this, these rubber surrounds of the perspex. Um, the rubber feels very non-stick and when you rub it you can just feel how dry and how low purchase there is on anything on it. Um, I've tried some simple green, that didn't really work. Definitely having the rubber warm made it even harder for the masking tape to stick, so I've still got to sort this bottom area out here once I'm done. Um, but what did work was isopropyl alcohol. So I've been using that on a rag, and it really cuts into it, as you can see here on the cloth. Cuts into all the dirt and grime, clears it off, and then you've got an opportunity to get some masking tape on there. I went and tried to find the stickiest masking tape I could find, which again is kind of an odd thing to ask for when you're in the shop. Um, but I wound up going with just this beige, um, bare, general purpose masking tape, uh, and not the low tax stuff that appears to be popular and more expensive. You know, that works for a lot of uses, but here you actually need it to be pretty sticky to get a grip. So I'll clear all these elements off and we'll go from there. Alright, well that isopropyl alcohol worked just about everywhere, apart from this bottom area along here. And my only thoughts are that because this has been exposed to the sun for so long, it's just too hard. And I would use the word brittle, but I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's just incredibly slippery, no matter how much you clean it. It's got dry and, and nothing will stick to it. So I'm just going to have to be really careful as I paint along that bottom part there. Um, everything else has come off. The switch gear in the corner here is mounted in such a way that's going to make it almost impossible to remove. So I'm just going to mask around that and then just paint really carefully behind it. And then this I'll just relocate as we go. Everything else came off. Uh, the other thing to note is that the, the paint I'm using has got an anti-mold additive in it which will help keep the boat nice and mold free uh, during winter uh, if it gets stored. Alright, I'm going to get on with doing some painting of this top area. Alright, so this paint is going on really well. We're getting good coverage there. It's already looking massively better than what we've got below, and this is just the primer. Um, so I'll keep going. I'm just going to be careful coming through the bottom here. Um, but yeah, this primer is sticking really well. And so you can really see it's starting to look a lot cleaner. Uh, yeah. Alright, I've just got to paint around this control center as well. So it looks like remove these two bolts, which I'll do in a sec. They run through to nuts on the back end side, so I'll get a spanner in there to hold them and take these off and then see if that gets it off. All right, so that came off pretty easily. Just held onto the nuts at the back and used my uh, screwdriver. Pulled out very quick. So I'll get to priming that up, fixing that up, and getting ready to paint that as well. And we're looking good, looking really good. All right. So this is coming along quite nicely. I have completed half of the boat and I've used a tiny amount of paint. So this is a 5 litre and as you can see we've barely started on it and we've done half the boat in undercoat. I'm obviously not doing the floor because that's going to be carpeted. I'm not going to do the interior of those because those are probably going to have a layer of carpet as well and it, you're just going to be painting inside those boxes forever. So doing the surrounds, this has got obviously a beam that runs along it so we won't have to worry about painting those. Still going to do the bottom and back. I'll do that with this side. Um, Matt took that off so that's easy to paint. Need to remove the fire hydrant holder. Obviously paint these elements here but we're going pretty quick. 
So um, the undercoat is happening very quickly and as you can see the boat is looking a lot fresher and this is going to look even better once we get the, the two top coats on and lay the carpet. Alright, so the first coat is, top coat is on. Um, I started using a brush, finished that top area, two coats on there really. It was a bit tricky masking with that vinyl as I mentioned before, the masking tape wouldn't stick to the vinyl so I did as best I could. Now I'm going to mask the paint and then clean up the vinyl because the, the paint will come off that pretty quick so we should get some good lines back again. So that top half has had its two coats and it's looking looking pretty good. This bottom half has had everything done with one coat. So it's it's already looking good, but a second coat really gives it a good layer and something strong that will bond and hold for the duration of the life of the boat, hopefully. Um, I've kept coming around here um, and obviously this carpet doesn't need to be done. This area doesn't need to be done down the bottom here because it's going to have the carpet placed on it. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, all the areas under here are done. And if I turn in here, it's all looking pretty good too. So uh, all in all, it's working pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'll do one more coat using the small roller which lets things go on really quickly. And, um, and then we can start installing the carpet. Alright so I've removed the oil reservoir and the battery and so I'm going to give this a good wash and a degrease and a primer and then be able to do a couple of top coats as well. So that will clear all of this area up um, Yeah, and we'll basically get all of this looking great so that when we've got the carpet around it's going to look everything clean. We'll put the stuff back but at least that way everything will be completely done and then I'll finish off the hatch probably in a completely separate um, piece of work because I can just do that up at the front and it has no bearing on the rest of this but this is important because obviously when I put the carpet on it's going to meet around these edges here as well all right all right so the painting is all done two coats dashboards all mounted again controls put back this area is all done as well um, two heavy coats in there that's looking a lot cleaner need to clean the bottom of the uh, oil box today and mount the battery holder back in 